Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to be diving into the mysterious world of SCP containment. Our focus for today is SCP-089, also known as Tophet, and its object class is Euclid. So, buckle up and get ready for a wild ride as we explore the enigmatic properties of this anomalous item. Let's jump right in. SCP-089 is contained in a specialized shipping container at Site-36 and is continuously monitored for any locution events. In response, Mobile Task Force MU-89 has been formed with members who have expert knowledge in linguistics, psychology, and tactical diplomacy. This task force is responsible for translating and interpreting any locution event to identify the primary subjects, designated as SCP-089-A and SCP-089-B. In the event of a locution event, Protocol M8 is to be executed, which consists of a series of steps. The statue known as SCP-089, also referred to as Tophet, has been observed to speak on rare occasions, with long intervals between occurrences. The mechanism by which the sounds are produced is not fully understood, as the statue's mouth does not appear to move during these occurrences. The language spoken during these events has been identified as Canaanite, likely the same language as the inscription on the statue. After each speaking event, a Type S event occurs within a period of 3 to 11 days, unless Protocol M8 has been completed. These events typically manifest as epidemics, natural disasters, mass hysteria resulting in genocide or other massacres, or other events causing extensive damage to property and loss of human lives. These events continue until Protocol M8 is successfully executed. It is notable that the Type S events, while significant, are limited to a specific geographic area and do not directly impact SCP-089-B. This has resulted in instances where the Type S event has persisted for an extended period due to SCP-089-B's lack of awareness of SCP-089 in Protocol M8, or unwillingness to execute Protocol M8 to halt the event. During each speaking event, SCP-089-A refers to a healthy, unblemished human infant or child between 8 months and 6 years of age, and SCP-089-B is identified as the natural mother of the child. In all documented cases, both SCP-089-A and B are alive and well at the time of the speaking event, and share a strong bond of trust and affection with each other. Following the speaking event, SCP-089-B places SCP-089-A in the cavity of the statue and ignites inflammable materials, resulting in the destruction of SCP-089-A over a period of two to five hours. SCP-089, also known as Tophet, requires SCP-089-B to willingly participate in Protocol M8, with SCP-089 a being conscious and alert during the process. It is advised to restrain SCP-089-B following ignition to prevent interference with the protocol as it is extremely painful and fatal to SCP-089-A. If SCP-089-B refuses to comply with Protocol M8, MTF Mu-89 is to explain the consequences and persuade SCP-089-B to cooperate. If persuasion is unsuccessful, SCP-089 is to be redesignated as Keter class and Protocol M9 is to be executed. The use of intimidation, threats, or mind-altering substances on SCP-089-B is strictly prohibited. It is recommended, although not required, to have horns and percussion instruments accompany the execution of Step 2 of Protocol M8 to mask the sounds made by SCP-089-A. Upon successfully completing Protocol M8, the Type S event generally begins to abate within 7 hours. Dr. Garcia notes that while it is unclear if SCP-089 causes Type S events, Protocol M8 has been effective in limiting their damage. It is speculated that SCP-089 does not cause the events, but rather provides a means to mitigate their effects. 
A list of documented Type S events terminated by Protocol M8 is provided, including events that predate the Foundation's custody of SCP-089. These events include a fire in a city, a large-scale messianic-based peasant uprising, an earthquake and volcanic eruption, a cyclone, and an ongoing Type S event with Protocol M8 not yet executed. The successful execution of Protocol M8 requires the voluntary compliance of SCP-089 be in a sober and uncoerced state. Likewise, SCP-089 must be conscious and alert during the execution of the protocol. It is recommended that SCP-089 be be restrained, although not sedated, following ignition so as to avoid interference with the completion of the protocol, as the process is extremely painful and fatal to SCP-089-A. If SCP-089-B refuses to voluntarily execute Protocol M8 in accordance with the aforementioned specifications, mtf mu 89 is to explain the prospective consequences of failing to successfully complete the protocol and make every effort to persuade SCP-089-B to cooperate. If MTF Mu 89's best efforts to so persuade SCP 089 B are unsuccessful, SCP 089 is to be redesignated as Keter class and Protocol M9 is to be executed. Reference document 089 M9. The use of intimidation, threats, or mind altering drugs or intoxicants in an effort to affect SCP 089. B's free will, and any attempt to complete Protocol M8 without SCP-089-B's participation or voluntary cooperation, or otherwise other than as described, are strictly prohibited since these measures invalidate the attempted completion of the protocol and are known to intensify the severity of the attendant Type S event. It is also recommended, although not a required part of Protocol M8, to cause the execution of Step 2 of Protocol M8 to be accompanied by the sounding of horns and percussion instruments, as doing so may mask the sounds made by SCP-089-A during the execution of the protocol. Upon a successful execution of Protocol M8, the related Type S event generally begins to abate within seven hours. Memo to file from Dr. Garcia while the role of SCP-089 in actually causing Type-S events is unclear, experience has demonstrated that the prompt and precise application of Protocol M8 is effective in limiting the damage that they do. Dr. Patel has speculated that SCP-089 does not cause Type-S events, but merely anticipates them and provides a means to mitigate their effects. A partial list of documented Type-S events that were terminated by means of Protocol M8 inclusive of documented completions of Protocol M8 that predate the Foundation's acquisition of custody of SCP-089, follows, date of locution, March 21, 1788 description of Type S event in locution event, the flames shall consume their houses, yeah, and their markets, and their temples, and all of their dwelling places, they shall be destroyed. Type S event, fire in city of <laughs> outcome, Protocol M8 completed on day 29 after locution event. 66% of city's buildings destroyed. Date of locution, December 2, 1850 Description of Type S event in locution event, The false prophet shall gather the multitude unto him, and cast them against the princes. They shall each of them be slain and their fields made barren. Type S event, Large-scale messianic-based peasant uprising in Outcome Protocol M8 completed on day 1363 after locution event. Massacres associated with uprising and its suppression, and attendant agricultural collapse, account for at least million casualties. Date of locution, November 23, 1951 Description of Type S event in locution event, The earth shall tremble and the seas shall rise and be cast against the earth, and the mountain shall vomit fire, its voice shall be darkness and death. Type S event, earthquake and volcanic eruption in <laughs> Outcome, Protocol M8 executed within 31 hours of locution event. No tsunami resulted although geological models had anticipated that one would occur from a seismic event in that area. No fatalities. Date of locution, November 7, 1970 Description of Type S event in locution event 
the rain shall scour the earth, and sweep away man, and his beasts, and all his works, the deluge shall take them all. Type S event, cyclone in Outcome, protocol M8 executed on day 49 after locution event. Casualties from flooding, disease and starvation estimated at 1000. Date of locution, April 4, 20 a description of type S event in locution event, data expunged, type S event, data expunged, outcome, ongoing. Protocol M8 not yet executed.